um, and I use mainly like every muscle below the knee. Um, obviously, for slower stuff, you're gonna lift your leg a little more to have you know control or whatever. But for faster stuff, for me, it's more of a heel bouncing motion where the ball of my foot stays in the pedal and the heel kind of bounces, you know. So it ends up just being that motion right there. So this one part of my leg really isn't doing anything. And um, the farther back I play, I feel like I can lock in better and I can get a little bit more of a swing with my beater, which is going to give me, you know, a little more attack, a little more power. Um, so basically, there's two different, there's you know, two different things I do with my feet when I'm playing. Sometimes it'll wiggle around a little bit, but um, for slower stuff, obviously my foot, you know, comes up a little bit more with my leg. And then when I switch into something faster, it ends up being more of a heel bouncing motion. You know, and uh, a lot of drummers will pivot their feet around, just kind of regaining their feel on the pedal. You don't have to. Some guys do it for, you know, to help them with timing. Uh, they feel like they can swivel their foot to help, you know, uh, it helps them have a little bit more stamina and energy, and it kind of keeps them in time a little bit. I play along to a click, practice, and live. Um, you know, so I have a metronome in my in-ears every day. Uh, so I use that to reference my timing to make sure everything is tight, because when you play fast, it's really easy to just get carried away, and it's fast, but it's not together, which happens a lot. Uh, so I recommend even practicing, you know, even if it's just with a pad or on your kit, to a click, because it helps your inner timing, whether you're going to use it live or not. Um, and that's what I use to gain speed and stamina, just repetition. It's kind of like weightlifting. Um, you take too much time away from it, and you lose a little bit. Uh, I'll turn on a click, and I'll find a comfortable speed that I know I warm up with, and I'll just sit there. It's really mundane and boring. And that's how I warm up every night before we play. And then I get comfortable, and I'll bump it up a little bit more. I'll switch over, do my, uh, my left foot. And usually the left foot is your weaker foot. So you really got to work it. That's the hard one. I, I struggle with it every day. You know, warming that foot up is the hardest thing to do. And, you know, playing live, I probably warm up my feet at least 15 minutes. You know, just switching back and forth, stretching every muscle that you can stretch from your, you know, your hips down. You know, and that's just for legs. Uh, it's easy to get a Charlie horse. And you can't necessarily stand up and rub that one out when you're at a show. So, um, and like I said, uh, everything's different for every person. Everybody plays different. Uh, people prefer different spring tension. Uh, they prefer their cam on their pedal in a different place. All, all that changes the way your pedal feels. But it really matters what's comfortable for you. Because I, I play with a lot of drummers that are really good, and every single one of them plays a little bit different than the other. And that's totally fine. As long as you get it done. <laughs> uh, I choose to have, uh, with, with the Axis pedals, the cams work a little bit different because it's a direct drive pedal, which means there's no chain, there's no strap. Uh, this cam adjustment is a little teeny piece right here, and you can raise it and lower it. I keep mine all the way at the bottom. A lot of drummers don't like that to play axis. They keep theirs midway or to the top. Uh, but I transitioned from an Iron Cobra, so I needed a little bit more leverage and power. So I dropped it all the way down to the bottom. And my spring tension is medium to loose. Um, I just find that more comfortable for myself. Um, so, with uh, getting the feet out of the way, the next thing I'll talk about is hands. I figured I'd talk about this stuff before we play. That way you can kind of maybe see how it works. Um, um, stick preference, up to you. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't really have a practice pad up here. I'll, maybe I'll pull my stand up for you. 